Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. We're on the 22nd episode guys, 22nd daily episode more to the point. And uh, yeah guys, today I think might be that day. We have the Guide Voodoo doll. We've got another Fishotron quest item, which of course we're going to hand in so we can keep the uh, quest fish going or normal quests going. Uh, what have we got? Uh, fishing potion and apprentice bait. Fan freaking tastic. I'm very, very happy with that. But guys, there's a couple things that I want to do before we enter hard mode. One of which is going to be that massive crate fishing session that I have been talking about previously. I think doing that is going to be a fantastic idea. Now, uh, we have ourselves a whole bunch of worms. We've got a whole bunch of journeyman bait. We've got ourselves the flesh catcher. We've got ourselves the angler outfit. So, guys, we're going full hog with this, okay? We're going full hog with this fishing session. We're going to have a high test fishing line on as well. And, guys, it is going to be banging. It is going to be a banging time. It really, really is. So, uh, guys, I think, first of all, what I want to really do is uh, convert a whole bunch of these worms into enchanted night crawlers. I'm pretty sure I've got enough stars, uh, not just from there, but also from the other, you know, potion ingredients chest to actually, you know, make all of these into enchanted night crawlers. Yeah, oh, there we go. Look at that. That's a fantastic amount, if you ask me. Right, so, uh, there we go. We now have 23 Enchanted Nightcrawlers and 36 Fallen Stars. Oh, my word. Okay, that is a very nice amount. If I had a star cannon right about now, I would be the happiest guy in the world right now. In fact, you know what? I think it might be a cool idea if I tried to take down the Destroyer with a star cannon. I am fully expecting it to be possible. I really, really am. But I still want to give it a go because some, it's something I've never, ever tried, right? I mean, it's a worm-style weapon. I'm pretty sure the star cannon is infinitely piercing. So I don't really see a reason why not, right? So, yeah. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that difficult. Where's my money trough? There it is. I don't know why it's up there. Uh, right, let's go ahead and quick stack all of that. Look at that. We've got more than a platinum coin at this point, which is absolutely fantastic. But, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Angler Python to come out. We're going to take this off. We're going to go full Angler. There we go. Look at us. <laughs> we look fantastic, guys. Oh, yes, we do. All right, so... Here we go. So, uh, a grand total of 18 minutes of crate potions. Uh, we have ourselves a grand total of, what, 20 minutes? So, if we take one of those out, we won't wind up using more than we need to. Sonar potion for 16, 18. Actually, yeah, we will need to use all of them. And then we only need to use three of the fishing potions to incorporate all of the duration, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put away the other fishing potions uh, because we're going to save them for a later on. Oh, yes, we are. But, uh, yeah, guys, we're going to do a mahoosive 18 minute crate fishing session. Oh, the question is how many gold crates are we going to get? Let's put on. The high test fishing line and ladies and gentlemen all we can do is find out let's do it hey our first golden crate ladies and gentlemen you love to see it we are now on our second crate potion my friends as you can see this is what we've got going on so far i'm only fishing up the more valuable stuff so, you know i've even got uh jellyfish in there because well why not maybe we could start up an aquarium at some point ladies and gentlemen that could be a nice uh you know quaint little idea for a little sort of not really a functional build but certainly something that would just kind of look nice i guess so yeah all right so we're about to get our second sonar potion going uh there we go. Hey, nice and refreshed. Let's keep going. Alrighty, guys. With 10 seconds left on our crate potion here, we are approaching the halfway point. Now, as you can see, it is currently 3.20 a.m., which means it's nearly the next Terrarian day, right? So what I've kind of decided is for the remainder of the fishing potions I've got going on here, maybe the location, the biome in which the new quest item is uh, caught will determine where we do the rest of our fishing session, right? I feel like that'd be a good idea. But in the meantime, guys, check out our collection. We have a grand total of, what, 24 crates. Not bad, guys. Check this out. Oh, my word. We're going to be adding stacks to this thing, baby. It's going to be fan freaking fantastic. You got to love it, man. You love to see it now. You look at all the crates. They are absolutely beautiful. Oh, my gosh. And we're going to need to put the gold one in there amongst it all. Oh, my word. We're making skyscrapers out of crates, guys. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> There's so many. There's so many. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, we'll have one up there. And we'll have one up there. Yeah, this is this is rather a lot, huh? 
Jeez, man. All right. Well, then, guys, uh, we are just about ready to have our quest reset. Uh, the new Terrarian day is about to start. Let's just uh, quick stack all of that. We've got a swordfish already. Uh, in fact, we've got two swordfish already. Um, yeah, we don't need that many. Let's just be frank here. All right, so let's go and get rid of these. And, uh, guys, we're, we're just about ready to see what's going on here. So, where is it? Oh, really? Uh, you know what? We're not... We're not going to go and do a whole bunch of fishing in the uh, honey. That just seems like a bad investment of time. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, right. Well, um, yeah. Fantastic. All right, guys. We are going to go and get the quest item. And then we are just going to go fishing. I'm going to say just underground in general. Or should we do it in the crimson or the corruption? Because we don't have any uh, wrath potions yet, do we? Ooh, that might be a good idea. I know, man. What do you guys think? Can we do that? Yeah, I don't know, man. Anyways, let's go get the quest item. Let's see what we get, and we'll go from there. Ah, nice and quick, huh? All right, so that was literally the second catch. So once again, it's handed in. Apprentice bait and a treasure map. Interesting. Okay, I mean, how big is it? Oh my gosh, that is kind of big. Oh, wow. All right, well, uh, I guess we're going to have to go do some um, stuff. Yeah. Um, I've got a whole bunch of crap I need to put away before I do my next crate fishing session of awesomeness. Oh, yes. All right, guys. Uh, so, let's go put some stars up here. I don't think I've got any room at all for this. So, I guess for now, it'll go in my decorations box alongside some of my other stuffs. Uh, yes. Robot hat? Yeah, I mean, that can go away as well. Why not? All right, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get stuff sorted out. And I think all I'm going to do is just a generic fishing session, maybe in the corruption. I'm hoping that my minions... I mean, to be honest, uh, I mean... Uh, I was tempted to put my B gear back on just so I could, uh, you know, keep myself alive at the very least. But uh, when it actually comes down to it, I think I'll be all right. I really, really do. So, yeah. I think I'll be all right. Yeah. Famous last words, huh? <laughs> Well, guys, I figured this is probably the safest way of doing this, so how's about we buff up and we go ahead and get back on with this thing? I mean, to be honest with you guys, I was considering going ahead and doing a fishing session, like, in a sky island or something, so I could maybe grab some sky crates, but honestly, there's nothing I really need to get from the sky crates, so... I mean, this is probably the best place. I mean, wrath potions are really quite good. So, yeah, I don't need bass. Get the hell out of it. Where, where was that? Where was that? Yeah, I don't, I don't want bass. Get out of here. No, 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 no. No, sir. Oh, and there's a golden crate. Why not? I mean, second golden crate of the episode. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm never, ever going to pass that up. Never going to pass that up. It's always a good idea to grab those because, I mean... Have I ever had the Hardy Saddle before? The Hardy Saddle is like that one where you ride a turtle, right? It's like super slow, but then as soon as you get in water, I think it goes super fast or something like that. I can't remember. But yeah, we've now got a whole bunch of dudes around us. And they can't get in because they don't want to go in the water because of the platform. <laughs> what a bunch of doofuses. <laughs> you can't get me. You and your many eyes, you bunch of fools. <laughs> Oh, I feel like some fan art needs to come out of this moment here. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> oh, oh that, now there's six of them. Now there's freaking six of them. I don't know what's going on, dude. Holy Lord. Whoa. A blue puffer fish, ladies and gentlemen. That's a pretty interesting one. If we combine that with the frog leg, I'm pretty sure you can do that, right? It kind of makes like a sort of mega accessory pre-hard mode. Although I still think there's one more element to it. Oh, that's right. The uh, the tsunami in a bottle. Is that it? Tsunami in a bottle? I don't think it's called the tsunami in a bottle. It might be. I can't remember. Anyway, so uh, yeah, you combine all three of those. And it basically equates to like a, a horseshoe balloon pre-hard mode, which is really, really cool. But anyways, guys, I thought I'd bring you guys back in for a, another little progress update. And also to bring you guys the common question of the video fairly early on in the episode for once. But Walter Brunk asks, what is your favorite quest fish? Um, pretty simple. I think that would have to be the jewel fish, which is basically a fish which is dotted with jewels. I mean, why would you not want that in your life? I would love to have that in real life as well. Oh, mate. Do you know what would be cool to do in this series? Is for me to try and collect every single quest fish you can get and then, like, put them on display. What do you guys think about that? Oh, another frog leg. 
I think that could be a really, really cool little goal to go ahead and uh, try to achieve for ourselves, guys. I don't know. It's kind of a completionist thing, but it's something I've never, ever tried to do before. And as I've mentioned time and time again, nothing is off limits on this series, right? So, you know, maybe the poll on screen will ask you guys whether or not that is something you might like to see, like a build containing all of the quest fish in Terraria. Would you guys like to see that, or would you like me to focus on other things? Leave your responses in the poll. I'd be very interested in knowing what you guys have to say. But so yeah, guys, we're getting plenty of Ebon Koi. 21 is the amount we're at. We have got a plentiful amount of crates as well. We are looking very, very healthy for the start of hard mode. And by the way, we're gonna, you know, get the wall of flesh out of the way fairly quickly, and then yes, we're gonna end the episode with quite possibly the biggest crate unboxing I've ever done. Okay, ever. I'm really hoping that is the case. I mean, I've done a lot of series. I've done a lot of Terraria videos on this game. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It might be the biggest one. It might not. I have no idea. So, you know, forgive me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but guys, let's finish this thing up and let's get back to base so we can prepare for the Wall of Flesh. Whoa. So all of my other potions have run out, but I completely forgot that you can get Corrupt Crate. Well, I can't say I was expecting that, but, you know, that's pretty cool. That's pretty damn cool. I really wasn't expecting that. What could you get, what could you get from Corrupt Crate? Oh, it might be stuff from Shadow Orbs, right? That would actually make sense. Yeah. Okay, there we go, my friends. Oh, guys, uh, you want to you wanna see this? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that is what I call a fun way to take out a small army of Eaters of Souls. That is fan freaking fantastic. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, Okay, guys. Oh, my freaking God. Look at the amount of purple clubber fish we've got. We only need one, dude. Jeez. All right, let's go and uh, sell all these. We certainly don't need that many. Uh, there's the bloom puffer fish. There's our bee outfit. Oh, my gosh. Right, guys. Let's get ourselves prepared. I'll meet you guys down in the underworld. And we're going to get this thing done and out of the way. Oh, yes. Alrighty, guys. And here we are back in the underworld. Which means it's that time. We have a whole bunch of buff potions here that we picked up from our buff potions chest. We've got our guide Voodoo Doll. And, guys, we're going to be the Lord of the Bees again. So, how's about we go ahead and uh, put those bad boys back on. And, ladies and gentlemen, buff up. And we're ready to go. All right, guys. We've got mana regen amongst a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, yes, we do. It's going to be a fan freaking tastic time. The Lord of the Bees is just... Oh, this should absolutely tear this guy apart. Oh, this should be absolutely easy. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, well, I'd love to be able to pick up those mana stars, but uh, sadly, this boss seems to have other ideas, huh? 5,000 health. I mean, as we go along, I'm pretty sure this guy's going to get... Wait, no. No, that's not the case. I was going to say this guy gets more defense as you go along, but uh, no, it doesn't. This is normal mode, not expert. And in addition to that, we only have 8,000 health to take down. Uh, we're already down to 2,500. Very, very nice. Yeah. Basically, guys, the Lord of the Bees rules above all else. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. It really does. This is actually kind of insane. Hello. And... <laughs> Easy as heck, ladies and gentlemen. There's the Sorcerer Emblem. Hey, I'm pretty happy to see that, actually. That's awesome. And then, of course, the Pwn Hammer instantly replacing the Meteor Hammocks, which then, of course, means we need to put our Sawtooth Shark on. But, uh, yeah, I'm really happy they've got a Sorcerer Emblem. That's going to really, uh, you know, that's going to be benefit us la like massively. I was going to say largely, but massively sounded like a better word. So, uh, I'm going to put it in place of, ooh, I don't know, maybe the Mana Regen Band? Yeah, now this thing does 14 damage. And there's a whole bunch of epic stuff going on. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Let's go back to base. And I guess a first idea would be to go ahead and check where the biomes are, right? Uh, well. Oh, it's over here. Oh, we've got a hallowed desert now. Okay. That's pretty cool. The only thing is we now no longer have a... Re uh, actually, no. We've got a regular desert over here. That's pretty cool. 
So we've got a desert of each type, aside from the corrupted desert, but I'm not really too fussed about that. Awesome. Alrighty, guys. Well, all of those buffs were probably completely unnecessary, but you know what? I'll take it anyway. So, uh, let's put this away. Uh, let's grab the Sawtooth Shark out, and we'll put you down here for now. And, yeah. The only kind of chainsaw I'll probably ever use in this series. <laughs> kind of sad when I think about it. But, anyways, all is looking well, guys, and you know what time it is. It is now hard mode. Oh my god, dudes. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to this. Like, all of our hard work that's gone into farming these uh, freaking crates out. Oh, the spoils of fishing. Let's do it. Oh my goodness me. Look at that, mate. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. So, 51 plus 29 is 80. We have a grand total of 83 crates to open up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness me. I think we're going to need ourselves a bunch of chests. Just so we can put stuff away. Uh, I'm going to get like four out. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have one like that. We're going to uh, put the tiki torch in the middle. And then have two either side. Yes. Sounds like a good idea. Do we just spam them? Should we just spam them, guys? Let's do it. Oh my gosh. 51 of these bad boys. Oh my god. That is absolute insanity. Good lord above. All right, guys. Uh, let's favorite these and then we can deposit everything else, basically. So, deposit all. Deposit all. Oh, look at the hard mode ores. We got titanium bars. Mithril bars. Look at all this beautiful stuff. Oh, my word. Hey, I'd love to get a falcon blade. That'd be awesome. All right. Oh, there's a whole bunch more stuff over there. All right. Deposit all and deposit all. There we go. All right, cool. So, these two over here, we're going to reserve for, like, the high-end crates. So, ladies and gentlemen, the iron crates in 3, 2, 1. Boom, 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 Oh. Wait, did we get an enchanted sundial out of that by any chance? Because if we did, I'm going to be a happy bunny. Hey, there's a falcon blade, though. Yeah. Nice little start to a pre-hard mode. I mean, a uh, a hard mode sword, more to the point. Not bad, not bad. A uh, whole bunch of orichalcum. We've got tartar sauce. We've got ginger beads. Ooh. And a whole bunch of high-end baits. Ooh, nice one. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, the final crate here for the big boys. The big boys. Look at this. We've got over a platinum coin, guys. Over a platinum coin. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got it. No. We actually got it. We got the hardy saddle and greater healing potions. Oh, my goodness. I can't remember if we've ever had a hardy saddle. Oh my gosh. Hey, you get cursed flames from these things. I didn't know that. Okay. Right. And then, yeah, we've got like a whole additional platinum coin. Look at this. Oh, this is so worth it, guys. It is so worth garnering together a huge, massive crate collection pre-hard mode and then opening them at the start of hard mode. Guys, you're going to be so good to go. All right. All right. So, yeah, it's super slow on land, but... Should we go ahead and see what it's like uh, in the water real quick? Does it make any difference at all? I'm hoping it does. All right, let's do it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that definitely makes a difference. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it's infinite swimming. Right. Now I get it. Now I get what the appeal of this thing is. Nice. Okay. Well, it's on the land, it's basically awful. But here, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Hey. Oh, I love my turtle, though. <laughs> it can't even jump. That's hilarious. Oh, no. Right. Well, fuzzy carrot, I love my turtle. I'm going to stick with the turtle. Oh, yes, I am. Right. I quickly want to go ahead and sort of collate all of the bars that we managed to get, just so we can sort of go through them all. So give me a sec, and we'll start going through them. Alrighty, guys. So in terms of the ores, we have this going on here. We've got a bunch of titanium. We can make that straight away, in fact, into a titanium forge, which is fan freaking fantastic. Uh, but yeah, check it out. This is all the other ores that we managed to get. Uh, platinum, of course. Uh, obviously, we'll quick stack them with the ones up top. But I just thought I'd show you the ones that I got at the bottom. So, ingots. Let's go ahead and once again uh, put these at the bottom just so we can see what we managed to get. Oh, my word. We've got a lot of bars. Holy crap. That is a lot, isn't it? Titanium, bunch of adamantite. Oh, look at the amount of orichalcum. That is fantastic. 
All right, uh, got some cobalt, got some palladium. Nice, 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 nice. So, guys, you already know. You know what we're going to do at the start of the next episode. We're about to make ourselves a ton of upgrades without even having to go mining. Eh? I mean, what, what could be better than that? I, I don't know, man. I don't know what could be better than that. Oh, and then we still got all of this other stuff as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on that massively successful note, it is time to end the episode. We are now officially in hard mode. We've had ourselves a hell of a head start with all of the crates we managed to get. Sadly, we didn't manage to get an enchanted sundial, which is one of the things I really would have liked so we could skip certain nights if we needed to. But, you know, you can't have everything in the world. We'll obviously get it a little bit later. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, I've really enjoyed it myself. If you guys have enjoyed it, please do be sure to spend a second below the video. Drop a like rating. It would mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content. But that's going to wrap it up, guys. We're in hard mode. What else can I say? Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.